What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an episode on Anchor. Now I've done one video on Anchor before just going over like the basics of the interface and stuff. But today I want to do like all of the features and actually show you how to make an episode. So the first thing I'm going to do is hop over to Anchor. Now this is my station. These are the tabs down on the bottom. Um, so my station is this one on the right. You'll see here in the middle I have this I don't know what these are called. I think they're called like clips So we'll just call it a clip, but here is this clip in the middle called intro That is one that I've already recorded for today Anything you record will last for 24 hours and then you can turn that into an episode So right here we just have a standard clip so I'll actually record another one. What you do is hit the plus sign in the bottom. And then from here, we have all these options. What I'm gonna do first is record, which is the same as the last clip I just did. And what you do is just hold down on the record button. If you wanna know all the details about this feature, check out my previous video. Hey guys, this is the second clip in my episode. I think they're called clips. Maybe they're called bits or something. If anyone knows for sure, let me know. But this is the second clip. I'm just recording multiple clips here to figure out how everything works for this video. And remember, we can swipe here in the middle to add background music to our clips, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it with no background right now. Hit done. I'll title this one second clip. Published. Hit the X. So we can see here that I have two clips now. And also another thing with these, if you hit play, it will begin to play. I'm gonna pause that. And then you can hit this arrow down and it'll go to like the detail screen. So you can swipe up and down or keep hitting this arrow to open that. And then down here in the bottom left, we can tap on that to view listeners. So no one's listened to this yet. Maybe someone will, I don't know. But that's just there if you wanna see who viewed it. So now I'm going to add something else to this, hit the plus button, and now I had someone call in, so let's go ahead and do that. And this is a guy's anchor that I listened to last night, I've actually used some of his music in my YouTube videos, so let's just listen to what he has to say. You actually can't hear it because I have my mic plugged in and my setup's all weird, but I'm just going to go ahead and add this to my station. So I'm going to hit the plus sign, it's going to bring up this pop-up, and then I can add it to my station. Published. So let's close this out, and there we go. We have this clip now in my station. And right now, because I don't have an episode yet, it will just say, listen, like if someone goes to my profile. Um, so let's go to someone. Entertainment Rundown, that's fine. So right here it says on air and then there's a giant listen button. So right now people can hit the listen button and it will take them through all of these clips. Like if I hit listen here, it's gonna load this up. Here's a clip, here's a clip, here's a clip. This is exactly what they would be listening to on my station. And then once I decide to make an episode, I would hit this button and then it would turn all of these clips into an actual episode, which is what we see here below the listen button, recent episodes. So I just wanted to clarify that real quick. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add something else. So I'm just gonna do a response to the message that CJ left me. Hey CJ, thanks for calling in. I've actually used a couple of your songs, I think, in some of my videos. I don't, I don't recall which videos, but I really like the music and thanks for calling in. I'm gonna go ahead and play one of your songs for this episode that I'm making. I'm gonna name this one to CJ. So this is just another clip that I'm adding. Hit done, hit add to station. Close this and you can see now we have four clips here. I'm gonna hit the plus sign and go back and I'm gonna add some music here. So I'm actually gonna play CJ's song. Um, the one that I like is called My Time. So I'll just search for it. And here it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the top one, the plus sign, 
and hit addition. Hit the X to close that out. And then we have another clip here, which is my time, which will play his song. So now we got five clips. Hit the plus sign. Actually, I'm going to record a little segment after that. So I'll say that song was my time from via CJ. I really like that one. Just wanted to share it with you. And now we're going to test out some other features here. Add to station. There we have it. That was my time. Hit the plus sign. I'm going to try an interlude. A clue. Sounds like a little ringtone, so that would be cool if like someone did a call in to play that before the call in. I'm just gonna add a bleep. Yeah, I'll add a bleep. Who cares? Add to station. And there we go, I added a bleep. I don't know what that will do, but when we create the episode we'll see. Now I'm going to hit the plus sign, and all we have left is an interview. Um, so I'm going to try and call. I'm going to try and call my brother, and then we'll get him on here and see what happens. So once I hit choose from contacts, it'll bring up my contacts. I'll probably have to blur this. Okay, so we could just type in a phone number. Okay, so if you do send SMS, it will allow you to send them like a intro or some information that's going to tell them what's about to happen. I already told them that, so I'm not going to do that. Hitting contacts would go back to contacts. So I have his number input here. I'm just going to hit call and then we'll see what happens. Hey there, we're working on connecting you to this phone number. Recording will start as soon as someone joins the call and will end whenever one of you hangs up. Hello? Hello? Is it working? It's working. It's working. Alright, later. He hit end the call. And here we have the call. It automatically recorded it. I can still swipe to get background music. The big button with two heads on it doesn't do anything. So I'm just going to hit publish, title it call with Ryan, add to station. And I'm going to close this out. And there we have call to Ryan added. I'm going to record another clip real quick. Hey guys, that was a call with my brother. It was like really unplanned. I don't know. It was probably terrible, but it's just an example. You'll have to watch the video. Done. Call, follow up, add to station. There we have call follow up. So we have a whole bunch of stuff here, whole, like all of the different features we've used. And I'm gonna do one final follow up here. I'll title this one outro. Done. Add to station. Close that out. And the outro is there. And now I'm going to turn this into an episode. And I'm going to hit the button here that says plus episode. So basically that's going to take everything and put it into an episode, I believe. Choose which of your station segments you want in the episode. I want all of these in here. I also, sorry, but segments you don't own. Music, other people's segments cannot be saved in episodes. So I'm not going to be able to include that audio in this episode for some reason. Don't know why, but that's too bad. I just won't include it. I'm going to hit next. Choose a short descriptive name for your episode. So now I can publish the episode or I can preview it first. Let's hit preview and see what happens. And this will begin to play me the episode and everything in it. Just gonna close that out and hit publish episode. So I'm not gonna create a podcast right now. Maybe I'll do another episode on that. I'm just gonna hit cancel. And then I just hit done in the top right. If I swipe over here, I can see my episodes. And I also have the ability to set up a podcast if I wanna do that. 
So it looks like you could have multiple podcasts on here and then you can sort your episodes into whatever podcasts you want maybe. So that's interesting, I'll have to get into that in a future video. But there you have it for now, how to get started creating an episode on Anchor. Now I can tap this and the episode will begin to play. Here is all of the segments and the episodes, so that's pretty cool. I also have the ability to rename this or delete it by hitting these three dots on the right. Or I can hit this little share icon and share that. So let me close this out. And there you have it, how to get started creating your first episode on Anchor. I think that's pretty cool. You can add all these different bits and call-ins and audio and sound effects and background music. And it just makes it extremely easy to make a podcast. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try and answer them. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for daily social media videos just like this one. Also, give me a follow on my other social media and subscribe to my other YouTube channel. I'll link it all down in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.